don't think I got the pronunciation right, did I? You did. It was very good. Was it? Through the mustu. Through the mustu. That's right. Ah. <laughs> don't lapse into the English accent. We prefer the Norwegian. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right. It's the very, Swedish chef. Yes. It's a good accent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know, I told you to speak slowly. But okay. You can speed up a bit. I'll yeah. slow down for you. What's it like? <laughs> stick in your hand. <laughs> up a cow's arse. <laughs> Do you want to know? I'd love to know. Okay, next I Tuesday. Already know. Huh? I think I already know. Know. It's overrated, I think. I thought you were. <laughs> I thought you were more into sheep, though, Ali. You should always remember never. Yeah. <laughs> you, you should always remember never to bite your nails after it. You did learn that one, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, no, no, no. I had someone else cleaning my nails. It's actually quite nice and warm on a cold day. So. Uh huh. And it's quite nice and soppy, and it depends whether you get a young one or an old one. Some are tight, some are a bit more roomy. <laughs> Was it really the answer we bargained for? <laughs> I guess that. So, what's the worst thing you've ever had to do as a vet? Oh God, the worst thing. Um, obviously, vets have to do a lot of smelly things, and you know, I got the quite serious thing. The worst thing you have to put down animals that you've known for a long time, and that's quite a sad thing. But I think the worst, most funny thing I had to do as a student. Um, was in a pig farm, uh, and I had to obtain a semen sample from a boar. Uh -huh. a, bull, a bull pig? What? Yes. Right. Manually. What? Is that, is that Once what again, I think that's it? overrated as well. <laughs> <laughs> can, can I ask something? Did, did you get the sample all right? Uh, after a while, uh, yes. And did, did the bull say thanks or anything? <laughs> it did, was did, a boar. A, a boar. A boar, I think he said He bull. grunted, yes. He grunted. Yes. What, and then fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a man, eh? <laughs> Two litres, is it? Two litres. <laughs> it must be quite nerve-wracking, because you've had cameras follow you about everywhere into some intimate places. How do you handle it? Are you nervous? Yeah, well, I'm, but I mean, the camera's been following me for three years now. I mean, we started off in college and uh, filmed in my last year where I failed and I passed and I cried and all that drama. So I think after then I thought I can take anything now. So having, a, uh, and I've had the camera with me for the two last years after that as well. I didn't get used to it. It's really, you know, you go to the toilet and they're there. You go to bed, they're there. I mean, the, the golden rule of television, and you've had a camera following you for, you say, three years. Yeah. Don't work with children or animals. And you've done both. I know, I'm doing all the wrong things, aren't I? Yeah. I mean, was TV always going to be part of your, your career plan when no, you came over here? No, I had no plans whatsoever of getting involved with television. Right. I mean, it was, it, the, the, the documentary was uh, something, it was there and the camera was there, but the most important thing for me was to pass my exam at the time. And the most important thing, for me, it's really to work as a vet, and if I can be a vet on screen, that's, you know, fine. I think sometimes people get to look like their pets. Ian! Honest, I see, see, now I lived in England, I used to drink my guy that looked like Corky the cat. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not kidding, you're deadly serious, Larry. Yeah, no, no, obviously, yeah. Yeah, yeah, the people tend to, especially the dog breeds, mm -hmm. tend to look like the pet owners. You've got a bulldog, haven't you? I can see that. <laughs> And Fred certainly not got a dash hound. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that Norwegian women are, are great lovers of animals? Um, no, we <laughs> who said I was a lesbian? <laughs> great lovers of animals? <laughs> oh, my goodness. She's the one that asked you to speak slowly. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to pick up certain words and I just get like... <laughs> lovers. <laughs> lovers. Of animal animals. lovers. Um, I think Norwegians are very different animal lovers than the British people. I think uh, they're a bit more... Um, they, 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 the dogs are more used to like gun dogs and they're more working dogs. And they, they, uh, I don't know. And also we use a lot of dogs to go skiing with. They, you know, they carry the rigsacks and things, you know. What a crazy idea. <laughs> Clever dogs. You Drag say. you up the hill. Yeah, yeah. Do you not I, think sometimes though people get too carried away with their pets? Oh, oh, yeah. No, I, I, think, I see a lot of people getting too... Well, I'm saying too attached to a pet, but may maybe it's not a bad thing. I think pets, pets have got a very important role in society these days. There's a lot of lonely people, and sometimes people look at, uh, you know, 
pet contact as a substitute for person to person contact. But there's a lot of nasty things happening in society, especially elderly people. You know, mm -hmm. they don't even dare opening the doors. So they prefer to stay in with a poodle Trudy, which is usually fat. Mm, Trudy. <laughs> yeah, all fat dogs are called Trudy. Is that right? Yes. Is that <laughs> <laughs> But I was going to ask you if uh, you know you've been in the UK eight years now. Yeah. Uh, is is it your home, or do you still think you'll maybe move back to Norway sometime? Um, I feel, I, yeah. Strange enough, I do feel my home in in the UK now, uh -huh. and then in Norway now because I've been I've been through so much in England, and um, I don't know. Maybe if I'm going to have babies, I'll go home just because my mum, but I'm not planning on that yet. So my TV career is obviously in, in England. I'm, and to be honest with you, really, I mean, the, I'm doing vets in practice. And yes, I'm doing the Vets World News Series as well. If nothing else happened after that, I'm not too worried because I'm, I'm really, you know, first of all, I'm a vet and I enjoy, really, really love my profession. And that's, I want to be looked upon as a vet um, and nothing else really. So if nothing else happened, I'm happy. Okay, well that's great. Well, we're delighted that you came along with us and I uh, hope you get the name right again, Through the Most Do. Through the Most Do. Thank, Thank you very you much. Thank you very much. <laughs>